Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, today we are showing our standalone measurement system. In this scenario, we have a display with a mode selection, zero selection, start stop selection, and reset selection. With this standalone display, you can easily select what you would like the actuator or the spring loaded probe to uh, perform. In this scenario, we have selected the measure in a vertical orientation and millimeters. So for now, what I'm going to focus on is the MLA8 series here on the right. And as you can see, this is a standalone actuator with a IP65 rating. It also has a, it comes with a boot for the IP65 rating. It has a extended nose uh, support bushing and it also has a probe tip that comes with it so in this scenario we have the uh, measurement mode selected and first thing we will do is go zero off on the surface the datum surface now we have done that as you can see it's telling us zero we'll slide the gauge block in place we will measure that start button and there we have our measurement. This is a four millimeter gauge block as it's displaying 4.001. So four millimeters and one micron is uh, what it's reporting to us. We'll do that again. With the SMAC actuators, you have full programmability of position, force, and velocity, as well as soft land. And then you have feedback of position, force, velocity as well. So in this scenario, uh, this is outstanding uh, capabilities with the SMAC actuator as the force is programmable and it is linear throughout the stroke. Therefore, we're going to have much better results than something with a spring or pneumatically driven type device uh, where that force will be inconsistent over the stroke. Also, the SMAC actuator utilizes a linear guide built into it uh, for better guiding and support, along with the extended nose bushing on the front of it.